guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you thank you for coming back today i'm going to film a video of what i eat in a day i only eat twice a day afternoon and evening and now i'm about to make green beans and pasta you, know, you have to eat vegetables a lot if you're trying to cut back on calories vegetables have very little calories and you know those starchy carbs are the ones that are very high in calories so make sure your vegetable size is really big and then your carb it's very small and then you add a little bit of protein so for today I have my green beans packet here that I'm going to be making I'm just going to cut it up but for what but I'm going to cook everything right now and people make green beans in different ways uh, you guys will see how I make mine I'm going to be boiling it and then sauteing it after boiling that's the way that i make mine i tried um oven roasting it one time and it was not to my liking at all i didn't like the taste so yeah i'm going to boil it a little bit first and then i will saute it so i'm just cutting off the edges you cut off here and here and then you cut it into two if that's the way you like it I'm going to do that for all of this batch and then out. So back, I already washed out all the green beans and this is what they amounted to really not that much. This is just enough for about two people. So I already have a um, pot of boiling water here. I'm just going to put everything in there and let it boil for about, I don't know, 10 minutes. I'm also at the point where it's totally cooked but not quite so that um, the frying and the skillet will do the rest of the job I'm just pouring all of that in here and I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt just to sweeten it like so not so much so for the sauteing, I'm going to be using this teriyaki sauce. Uh, it's about 30 calories per serving, which is one tablespoon. So I'm going to try to reduce the amount that I use so that I wouldn't add too much calories to it. But I find that it gives it this really nice taste and it's not so bland. And obviously this is not the only kind of vegetables I eat. Sometimes I eat uh, broccoli or brussels sprouts or um, spinach or anything obviously if you don't have any of this where you where you are where you're staying if you don't have access to this kind of vegetables you can always just eat salad salad is like you know have a big bowl of salad with a little bit of bread maybe a slice or two and some protein probably chicken or beef and you're good to go it's enough for weight loss really and everybody's system and body is different, everybody's BMI is different. So the, the amount of calorie um, reduction, the amount of calorie deficit everyone needs is different depending on your daily activities and depending on, you know, just your body type and current weight. So I'm, I've been really using, you know, cutting back on calories a lot and you have to just walk, you know, um, it's a trial and error thing whatever works for you might not work for someone else and you might start now and then notice that you have to make some changes call back increase it all depends on you really so i'm just gonna um wait till this cooks for about 10 minutes then i'll be back so guys i'm back and the green beans is fully cooked this is what it looks like this might be a little soft for some people just do it however you like and this is the end result it's really small I don't know if it shrinks or something. So now I'm just going to saute it. And instead of using olive oil, I'm just going to use this, this spray oil. It's still extra virgin olive oil, but it's not the, you know, the normal oil. This one has less calories, so it says. But um, a regular oil has 120 calories per tablespoon. So I want to reduce some of that calorie. I'm going to have to avoid that. So I'm going to... I'm just going to spray this. I'm going to add a, a couple of cooked shrimp in there. 
it's already cooked. I bought the cooked so it doesn't have to. I don't I don't have to cook it from scratch. So I'm gonna mix that in there. Just let it get a little bit hot. And behind me here I have uh, water for my pasta. Just boiling. The shrimp is not going to be the only protein. This is just to garnish the the green beans a little bit. I just wanted to get that hotness. You know, that to kill whatever bacteria, whatever is inside before I add other things. So next I'm going to go in with my teriyaki sauce. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna let this boil a little bit. And from behind here, my pasta water is done, so I'm still pouring some pasta. I'm using the rotini pasta. I'm going to be making two servings for two people. The last one is a cutting back on celery, so it doesn't have to eat less. What I do so. If I'm pouring so much in here, it's not for only the meat. that much as well. I'm going to add in some salt. Okay, so my... My shrimp is marinating in the in the teriyaki sauce. I'm just gonna add the green beans. Right. I shouldn't have added this in teriyaki sauce. I should have measured it with a with a tablespoon. I don't know what I was thinking. But hopefully it turns out well. I'm going to add some black pepper. Just a little bit. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm going to add some more salt. This smells so good now. Oh my gosh. I want the teriyaki sauce to really to really enter into the into the green beans. So I'm gonna reduce the light a little bit just so it slow cooks. And a little bit of salt. If you don't want the sugar content in the teriyaki sauce you could just use soy sauce because this sauce is pretty sugary. But I already have it and I have to, I think I have to use it, that's why uh, I'm still using it. Next time I'm going to get on this sauce. So my pasta is cooking and my green beans is cooking and I have some chicken breast or something, some kind of protein in the fridge that I'm going to Add later, add to my plate. Oh, this is looking so good. It smells so good already. I can see all that extra sauce. I'm going to have to scoop um, the extra teriyaki sauce away later. If you like some hot pepper, some cayenne pepper in your, if you like it a little spicy, you can just add a little bit. You just keep staring and tasting until you feel like it's, it's good enough. So I'm just gonna taste it a little bit. Definitely sugary, and that's my fault. And it still looks to be on the fire a little bit more. And if you find that the teriyaki is drying up, just add a little bit of water to revive it. You don't have to add, add more teriyaki or more oil, just add water. You can see that the amount of green beans in the 
frying pan is really small now. I have a huge bag and this is what it shrunk down to. So don't be afraid to get a to get you know huge amounts of green beans. You can also add some mushroom, some mushrooms if you like that. And just to reiterate my calorie deficits, like I can't emphasize enough how much calorie deficit is important when you're trying to lose weight. You're consuming food food, food um, it turns to energy in your body and if you don't use it up, it stores, especially those carbohydrates. Protein sometimes if you don't eat too much, there's a certain percentage of protein that your body your body does not retain. But once it's too much then you it converts it into fat. If you eat protein every day and you eat carb there's more chance that the carb is the one that's making you gain weight more than the protein and of course vegetables they have a little bit of carb in them but i don't think they really add up if depending on the size that you're eating it doesn't really matter the carb in carbohydrates in you know rice pasta and all that is what really matters is what really adds up to make you gain weight so you just need to reduce all that eat more vegetables okay this is really simmering now i'm just gonna taste it even with the fork it already feels so soft yes i think it's done it is done so i'm just gonna switch off the fire now we're just gonna wait for the pasta to be done and then I'll plate my food and you can see it. So for dinner, I'm going to be having oats. Most of the times when I don't exercise, today is a Sunday, so I'm not exercising weekends. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't exercise. Most of the days when I don't exercise, I eat oats at night with protein, probably chicken breast or beef or something. I just find that that helps me uh, cut back on my weight. So this is the oats that I drink and half a cup of this will give you 150 calories with uh, 27 grams of carbohydrates and this is good good source of carbohydrates and fiber this is not like you know it's not like the refined rice or the refined pasta this is way better so when I drink this I, I see you know a couple of points down on the scale always every night especially weekends so i really swear by this and i usually eat it at night because i don't know it's just preferable for me i need food with more energy source and during the daytime and at night i know that i'm just going to bed and i don't need all you know so much food so this with you know chicken breast or any other protein is good for me and of course with milk i use any kind of milk i i used to be dairy free before when i was breastfeeding but now any milk hey okay, guys i'm back with the finished product this is my serving of pasta my serving of green beans and some beef and stew here you can use you know um, tomato sauce if that's what you like to eat your pasta and you can also use some gravy some of those um teriyaki sauce to eat your pasta if that's what you want and this guys is the difference between calorie deficit and calorie maintenance this is for my husband is a much bigger person so he's eating all this pasta and all this bread beef and all these green beans so i used to eat this amount of food or something close to this before before i started my weight loss journey and you see that consuming this amount of food and not moving and not during the day not exercising not you know being on the move and burning all that calorie it's just going to keep adding up and that's why i I resorted to eating food but so my pasta I'm serving is really small compared to the vegetable and compared to the meats. This is um, lamb with, with um, some stew. And so that's it for today guys. Thank you all for coming back to watch my channel and to watch my what I eat in a day. Thank you again. See you in the next one.